so glad, you know, because, you know, people hear about Mark Mercer Love and Karen Sharon, they're like, what? <laughs> Are you kidding? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, give me a break. my favorite title of any show ever. I want you to talk about Steve. Oh, okay. All right. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my master of arms, uh, of course, uh, takes the wheel for me oftentimes here during the show, uh, corrects stats that I give that are incorrect, and uh, is now also a huge fan of Reach Ginger Brew. And uh, I'd like to let everybody know about what Steve does um, for a living. Uh, Steve, would you tell everybody about what you do? Uh, sure, Mark. Uh, I organize medical teams that go to Guyana, South, of, uh, South America. I've been doing that for... Uh, a little over 20 years, uh, actually started going down about 23 years ago, and um, uh, we organize medical teams that go down and set up clinics there. Uh, it is a faith-based organization. We've hosted 156 different medical teams in the last 20 years and have treated 255,000 people in our free clinics, and we have teams going down this summer. In fact, I'll be heading down in about two months, and uh, we'll be there throughout the whole summer. Wow, that's hey, amazing. Can I ask you a question, Steve? Sure. H how does it get funded? You know, it gets funded. Uh, <laughs> it gets funded by God. I, I have to tell oh, you the God. truth. We, <laughs> we, um, uh, all of the people that come down are volunteers, and they pay their own way to come. Okay. Uh, the only real expenses that we have with our organization, which is known as Operation Guyana, is. Um, uh, you know, covering my living expenses and covering our facility there, and I have to raise that every year uh, through individuals and churches and foundations and, and other organizations, and it is a never-ending process. So, uh, so, can, so can people donate money to, to your... They, they certainly can, and they can go to our website. We've had a web presence for about the last 15 years. They can go to our you website. You give them that information. Which is Guyana, G-U-Y-A-N-A dash missions, M-I-S-S-I-O-N-S -S -S dot O-R-G. And you can read about our work there, and there's a PayPal link there, and you can make a tax-deductible gift right there on the spot. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and boy, with the economy being what it's been, our funding has really been down. Uh, but, you know, we've just always felt like that God uh, uh, would give us the means to do what we need to do. And um, he has always done that. There have been times where it's been a little tight. We're in one of those times now. But, mm -hmm. uh, but we're just glad to be able to get to do it. Now, Steve, uh, Go you, ahead. You, for you. No, you. Oh, okay. Uh, for, for, all right, Steve, for you, uh, Guyana is more than just a, a, a missionary field. It's actually, uh, well, it's it's a bit more than that because you, you really became very fond of one particular native of Guyana, didn't you? Well, yeah, that's right. We adopted a little boy from there. Uh, I say little boy. He's 15 now. Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, What's his name? Our, his name is Isaiah. And um, he is... Um, uh, he is a marvelous young man. Yeah. I am so proud of him. Our three daughters grew up there, um, and they're all grown and married and, and, and doing well, but our three daughters all grew up there. And, uh, I mean, living in a country like Guyana, which is a developing nation, a third world country, um, uh, for over 20 years, we've become very close to a lot of people there that have become a part of our extended family. So, um, uh, yeah, I can't wait to get back down there. Yeah. Well, can I can I say something? Yeah, absolutely. Sure. No, no, I'm sorry, you can't. Uh, we have to stop there somewhere. Know what? Hold on, there, Mark. <laughs> have a seat. Uh, whoops. I've got a cup of tea. <laughs> um, well, well, actually, I commute them both. So, yes, you can have your share. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> she is the guest, so I guess she can say whatever she likes. Thanks, Steve. Go ahead. Um, I'm sorry. I just want to say that um, in the spirit of, of what I was talking about earlier, about music being a healing, uh, I know for me, that's why I write the songs that I write. It's mm -hmm. just my own soul. Um, if you ever wanted to, and if we could ever swing, um, having a, a, a musical entity accompany you um, on your on your missions, I would I would be grateful to be included and 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 to um, um, contribute. Well, I am certain that we can work out something. Um, I, I have always told people I don't care what your talent or what your ability is, 
we need you to come down and work with us. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we've had people as young as eight and nine years old that have come down with their parents and worked with us. And we've had people that were 87 years old that have come down and worked with us. And, and it's not all medical so, people, right, Steve? I mean, you, you, have, you have like regular lay people come down that, you know, carpenters right. or just people with pair, a pair of hands to hand out. That's exactly right. We've done an awful lot there through the years. Uh, we've built church buildings, and we've helped repair uh, school buildings, and we've uh, we've had uh, benevolent programs where we provided clothing and food for those who just live on the street. Uh, there was a massive flood uh, back in uh, 2005. My house had two and a half feet of water in it for about four weeks, wow. and uh, uh, many of the homes along the east coast of Guyana were, were covered with water, some five and six feet of water for weeks on end. Ish. And uh, we raised a lot of money to just provide people with awesome. food during that time. Steve, do you know a guy named John Kentworthy? No, that, name, that name's not familiar. Okay. He does similar work. Anyway, I think it's awesome. And, yeah. Well, that, that'd be awesome, man. If you guys, you know, collaborate on some level, that'd be just a hoot. Any excuse for uh, me to still somehow have my hands and in, 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 in talking to Susan, that'd be just wonderful. Unbelievable, Mark. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, wait. It? I have a brilliant idea. Yeah? We could do the PayPal $5 crush on Susan. And you <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Wait a wow. minute. That right. would probably end all of our funding needs forever. Yeah, no kidding. Millions you're of people. That. Yeah, but, yeah, you'd hey, be good. That's to, a wonderful idea. Yeah, you'd be you'd be set till 2059. We'd be 100 that's, that's years probably old. Probably true. Yeah. Okay. No not. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna have to. <laughs> okay, we'll talk later about that. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Look how that just happened. <laughs> how about that? Yeah, at loving, caring, and sharing. Yeah. There you go. All okay. right. Well, you know, there there are no real accidents. I think that God has his hand in a lot of things. And, and I think it's important that whoever we are and wherever we are, that we use our talents and abilities to help people. Exactly. Uh, that's what we do with our work in Guyana. And, and Susan, that's, that's certainly what you do with your music. Your music has spoken to me today as I've been listening to it. Yeah, me too. And uh, really touched my heart. And... Mm -hmm. and uh, that's God's work as well. Exactly. I, agree. I appreciate that. And, and you know, speaking of Susan's music, uh, I, yes. I came. I, I came, yeah. Yeah. I, I came across a little ditty. Uh, just something. Uh -oh. that, you know, just a little something here. That's right. Happiness. happiness There's Susan. That's right. That's happiness off of the castles. That was what was that called? The castle TV special. Oh, the family thing. Yeah, right. And, and it was like you had Buddy Epson on it. You know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Uncle Jed. Uncle Jed. Yeah. And, <laughs> Which we and, and, thought was the coolest thing ever. Yeah, and of yeah. course, you know, in, in this video, you guys are uh, bathing uh, this big dog in uh, in the in the bathtub. <laughs> And I was curious, could you tell us about that dog? Because uh, I happen to have two of the same kind of dogs. Okay. That dog in question mm -hmm. was a gift to my brother and his then wife, Nancy. Right. Um, from Hugh Hefner. <laughs> um, he, what kind uh, of dog was this? <laughs> that's an interesting <laughs> question for you to Naked. ask. <laughs> on, on the heels of Hugh Hefner. He's a St. Bernard. And my sister-in-law, Nancy, um, and, and Kelsos always keep all their wives, so she's still my sister-in-law. She was a, a Playboy bunny, mm -hmm. and, she, um, and we were on uh, Playboy After Dark, which was a TV show back in the 60s that Hugh um, hosted, and he had given Bob and Nancy that dog for their wedding gift, mm -hmm. and that's the slobbery truth. Oh wow! Okay, now you also did a uh, a promo for Nola. Now, if you guys will uh, just bear with me for a second, I want to play this Nola promotion you did. How long ago was this? Do you remember? Um, I think it was uh, a year and a half. A year and a half ago. Okay, so it's pretty recent. All right, Maybe so two. all right, Maybe uh, two. yeah, all right. Check this out, guys. I have no memory left. Yeah, me neither. But I have the file, so here we go. <laughs> 
Hi, my name is Susan Cowsill, and I am from New Orleans, Louisiana, USA, and I am for NOLA. It's the only place I know where you can make music for the sake of making music. It's a wonderful place to live. It's a great place to make music with other musicians. We are the number one music capital of the world. And I want you to be for NOLA by supporting the St. Bernard Project. All right, there you have the NOLA Project. What, so what, what exactly was that? What was the NOLA about? Okay, the NOLA Project is just it's a, one of our many, many, many organizations here that are trying to rebuild our city. Re oh, and, okay. All right. Yeah, and so and um, St. Bernard, um, Bernard is one of the hardest hit spots. It's the ninth ward. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Katrina. Yeah, oh, yeah. But, um, oh, my so, gosh. Yeah. I mean, how could you not? Okay. Yeah, unless you live in a okay. cave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. So, uh, so yeah, it was just it was just a campaign to raise some funds. Now, wait, how, how did you pronounce that again? Yeah, what was that? Oh, you guys are bad. What, 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 what was the pronunciation? Saint Bernard. Bernard? Yeah, was that Saint, Saint Bernard? Saint Bernard, did you Saint say? Saint Bernard. Okay, so Saint Bernard. Saint Bernard. Is there another way to pronounce it, y'all? Saint Bernard well, Project. Yeah, Daniel. I've, I've heard someone else say that there was another way I'd, to pronounce it. I pronounce it Saint Bernard. No, oh, I'm really English. Bad. Well, listen here. Yeah, how could that be? St. Bernard Project. Yeah, St. Bernard Project. Yeah. St. Bernard Project. Yeah, I think Susan got it right. I think it's uh, the... Uh, St. Bernard Project. Yeah, I'm pretty sure about that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, just checking. All right. St. So, Bernard. So, Susan, yeah, you, you're heathens. The lot of you. St. <laughs> Bernard. St. Bernard. Bernard. Bernard was a saint, wasn't he? <laughs> you feel like Philistines, obviously. <laughs> Well, Susan, if you went somewhere in South Louisiana and asked for St. Bernard, what would they do or say? Hand you a hamburger? Put, here's what they would tell. They put a piece of fish on a, a grill and blacken it. And here, here's your St. Bernard. Uh, <laughs> yummy. That's what they do. But it's funny because there's so many um, street names here in the city right. that when I first moved here um, were very, uh, at least to me and Steve and Mark, pronounced strangely. But perhaps Danny would feel differently. Mm -hmm. But for instance, there is a street here that when I read it, it says Burgundy. Right. But they call it Burgundy. Oh, come on. Oh, it's truly. And it's the exact. And, <laughs> and it's the same Howard. spelling, right? It's not like they spelled it differently. Totally. Unbelievable. And oh. there's a street here called uh, Calliope that reads to me like Calliope. Okay. So. There you go. You say tomato, I say tomato, whatever. Okay, now listen. Oh, okay. There's a street here that I've been having an argument with with uh, my friend Peter and a couple other guys for years about. And the way you spell the street is this. It's spelled U uh, uh, yeah, U N R U E. Uh, I'm sorry, no, it's U N R U H. Yeah, U N R U H. Now, how how would you pronounce that? U N R U H. Yeah. Unroof. 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 Shut no. up. Shut up. You know it. <laughs> I know the answer, yeah. D yeah, Tom knows the answer. Yeah, I say it's UNRA. R-U-H. R-U-H. Oh, it was a famous oh, UNRA, yeah. Yeah, UNRA. R-U-E no. here. Yeah, uh, UNRA. But, but no, it's UNRU. Correct. Yeah, that's filled off. That's wrong. Phone. There's something wrong with that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. But we still have our hoggies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we have a hoggy, not a hoagie. Yeah. <laughs> oh God! You guys are make me hungry again. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, um, back to your album, Lighthouse. And then there was a torpedo. Okay. Yep. Go ahead. <laughs> um, uh, Lighthouse uh, came out uh, what two years ago, right? Yes. Okay. And uh, I, I was noticing the uh, picture on the back of you when you're probably I'm going to say five. Yeah. Is that right? Where was that taken? It's actually the picture on the front, but that's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. And yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Holding it backwards. <laughs> yeah. What, 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 where was that picture? Where was that picture taken? Or was it photoshopped out of something and put on there? That was taken on the Avenue of the Indians. Oh, really? And it was the first day that I learned to swim without floaties. Is that right? Well, you know, um, that's just uh, that's which is why I look all badass and stuff in it. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah tough hoe. Yeah, I've got attitude, yeah. Okay. Well, we, we, got, another, so, we got another song queued up here, and now I forget which one. <laughs> Danny, River what's of that? Love. Oh, that's right, River of Love. Uh, yeah, uh, you, we were talking about River of Love earlier, and um, uh, uh, we, I didn't get a chance to really get into that with you. Could you tell us about River of Love? Sure. Uh, River of Love was written by my brother, Barry, mm -hmm. Hill, Right. And uh, who was an amazing singer-songwriter. Um, whose life decided to cut itself short. Mm -hmm. 
And um, River of Love was a song that I always really liked. And after